I'm going to give you the full rundown on the Panthers versus Seahawks game. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon, so you never miss any video from my channel. Yo! Welcome to Kevin TV. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share with your cool things like Facebook and Reddit and Instagram and wherever else. And guys, don't forget to hit the bell notification, man. Hit the bell icon so you don't miss a video. I upload randomly so I don't want you guys to miss out. So definitely hit the bell icon, man. When you see the squeaking lines, you know you have been notified. And guys, it's time for me to break it down again. Uh, it's time for the tail of the take, man. You know, the Panthers versus Seahawks. That game is Sunday, so I'm going to break down the head coaches, who has the advantage in that situation. The offense and the defense, who has the advantage in that situation. And then why I think the final score of the game is going to be. So we got a lot to talk about, guys. So let's get started. If we're talking about head coaches, I'm not going to lie, man. I got to give them now to Pete Carroll. Pete Carroll is an actual good coach. Now, I know a lot of people are going to bring up, you serious, bro, Pete Carroll? Listen, Pete Carroll's a good coach. Now, mind you, did he do a stupid decision during the Super Bowl? Of course he did. Everybody and their mama know they should have ran the ball. But in my opinion, I think he wanted to make Russell Wilson the, the you know, the finals MVP and, and show that it's his team, which I think is stupid. You should just let Marshawn run the ball in and get the Super Bowl, and then you could trans transfer it over to, you know, um, Russell Wilson. But, you know, he, he is still a good coach because, mind you, you know, basically all Legion of Boone's gone. Cam Chancellor, Rich, uh, Richard Sherman, uh, you know, Brandon Browner, or whatever. And now Earl Thomas is injured. And um, Marshawn Lynch is gone. And they're getting back to the semblance of what they were, man. Uh, Russell Wilson, he was right about Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson is a very good quarterback. He can carry a team, and he has been. He's been honest with you, he's been carrying the team for a while now. But now they have a very good running game like they did years ago. So they're definitely running the ball well. They had 300-yard rushers, um, you know. And, you know, he reformed the line. So he's been doing, you know, saying the defense, he's, you know, drafted some, some good players. So Pete Carroll is still a good coach. Even though, like I said, he made that mistake, he's still a good coach. He still knows what he's doing, you know what I'm saying. He's still, you know, his team's still playing pretty well. So I got to lean to Pete Carroll on that because at the end of the day, both Pete Carroll and Ron Rivera got to Super Bowls. Pete Carroll got to two, Ron Rivera got to one. But Pete Carroll's one and one, and Ron Rivera's 0 and one. You know what I'm saying? So he has a Super Bowl ring. You got to give him the nod in that situation. Like I said, now Ron Rivera is still a good coach, and obviously we always have you know epic battles with the Seahawks, whatever, for years and years and years now. But um, at the end of the day, man, it matters about who has the ring. And I know it's, it's not, it's kind of like a hard, you know, discussion as far as that because. You can't just discount somebody because they don't got a ring. But, you know, at the end of the day, man, if you have the opportunity, you got to win that game. And I know it wasn't all Ron Rivera's fault that we lost against the Broncos. But at the end of the day, he still has an all one record, and Pete Carroll has a one one record. So, like I said, it sucks. I think they're both very close and very comparable coaches, but one has a ring, one doesn't. So I got to leave with the guy who has the ring. Now on offense, I got to get the running game to the Seahawks, man. They have the very best rushing offense in the league. They had like 300 yard rushers and Carson, uh, Rashad Penny, and some other guy. I don't know the third person, but they got, they run the ball very effectively. Russell Wilson can scramble, so obviously they got to get the nod in that situation. But um, our rush offense is not that bad either. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, especially when Cam's running the ball, which he hasn't been done, doing recently, which I think he need to get more into again. He hasn't been running recently, which I feel like is kind of a problem. He's best when he's running and passing, but he hasn't been doing that as much as of late. So, um, I got to give them the, the nod as far as rush defense. Um, pass offense, I got to give it to us. I mean, don't worry, I like Doug Baldwin a lot. Um, you know, I like Tyler Lockett, but I think our passing offense, Cam Newton, Greg Olsen, you know, uh, DJ Moore, Devin Funches, Christian McCaffrey, I think our passing offense is just way better, um, especially, with, you know, as passing out of the backfield. Christian McCaffrey is probably the best receiving back in the league. I mean, at least, if he's not the best, he's at least top five. Um, you know, so he's definitely a threat in the receiving game and the running game. And um, obviously, DJ Moore is emerging. He just had a 159-yard game with a, a touchdown. Um, you know, Curtis Samuel is a baller, you know what I'm saying? But he just doesn't give me snaps, and I think he will get more snaps as time goes on. So, you know, and Greg Olson obviously is Mr. Reliable. So we have a lot of good, you know, passing weapons. I don't see that from the Seahawks, really, besides Doug Baldwin and Tyler Lockett. Um, they don't really have as many passing weapons as we do. So, I got to give us a nod as far as that. O-line, I don't know, man. I, I would 
I would give it to us, but in the last two weeks, our O-line has been playing like trash. And it's weird because they, they was one of the best O-lines in the league before the Steelers game. And then recently, they just haven't been holding up their end of the bargain. And I don't know why. You know what I'm saying? So, I still kind of give us a nod because, you know, we've been playing so well. Uh, but the last two weeks, our O-line has not been, you know, living up to the billing in that sense. Russ Wilson has been getting hit a lot. So I got to give it, you know, to our own line as far as offense. So offense, we have a better receiving core. You know what I'm saying? I think the quarterbacks are like a wash. They're both both scrambling quarterbacks. They're both very, you know, good at, you know, what they do. And I think they can both be effective in both the pass game and the run game. So I'll give them a wash as far as that. So the quarterbacks are wash. I'll give them a nod in the run game. I'll give us a nod in the receiving game. And the O line, I'll give us a nod. You know what I'm saying? As far as defense goes, they have a lot of injuries on their defense. You know, with the Earl Thomas and stuff like that, whatever. But for the most part, their defense has been playing pretty good. So, our defense is playing trash. Like, absolutely trash. It's been horrible. Like, I mean, our defense has been allowing 81.5% in the red zone this year. That's horrible. I mean, usually everybody says bend, don't break. But we bend and break. So, it makes no sense as far as that. Um, you know, they say our rush defense is pretty good. You know what I'm saying? But... From what I'm seeing, man, it doesn't look like it. It seems like teams are just gashing us in the run game. So our defense has been a huge liability. I think I think their defense is a little bit better than ours. Um, but, yeah, our defense has been a huge liability for us. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what are we doing. Um, you know, and I, I would hope our defense gets it back together. But um, I don't know, man. I don't see that happening this year because they've been wildly inconsistent the whole year. The Atari Poe has been a waste of money, um, you know, James Bradbury got bombed by Galladay at the end of the game. Stuff like like just crazy stuff. He got bombed by Judas Smith Schuster. So we've been playing like the defense have been playing atrocious. Now Dante Jackson. Dante Jackson been doing his thing. Dante Jackson had like one big play against Antonio that Antonio got on him. And Antonio is a veteran. He's one of the best receivers in the league. Plus, he was holding and Dante Jackson was pissed off about that. So um again, like I said, defensively, whatever, we're we're not that great. So I gotta give them the nod as far as that. And special teams, I like our special teams more, even though Graham Reno missed two field goals last game, which could have gave us the win. Uh, he did hit a 63-yard field goal. So I like us special team-wise better, you know, so I give us a nod in that situation. Now for my, you know, scores. Okay, check this out, right? The Carolina Panthers are 5-0 at home, right? And Seattle's coming to Carolina. But Seattle's 3-0 playing Carolina in Carolina. So one of those streaks had to be broken, right? And to me, I think it's the three and zero at you know Carolina because to be honest with you, man, streaks are made to be broken. I mean, the home streak for us, whatever, it's a very good streak, whatever. But the the Seahawks one, I think I think we eventually we're gonna beat them at our house. So I think we'll get this W, man. Um, like I said, I think it's gonna be. I think both defenses are gonna get torched. Me personally, I don't think it's gonna be a defensive game. And it's crazy because both these teams were really big defensive teams. Like I mean, we had a game which was like 12-9, and we had like a lot of defensive games back in the past. But I don't see that happening this time. I think this is going to be a very uh, you know, offensive game. I, you know, I'm thinking the Pens are going to win 35 to like 28 or something like that, whatever. Um, I just don't see – I know our defense can't stop anybody, man. I'm just being honest with you. Our, our defense can't stop anybody. It's the reason why John Beeson you know, came for them. It's, it's just they just haven't been pretty good. They haven't been good at all, which is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Especially because – like I said, Ron Vera is a defensive minded coach, and we predicate ourselves on the defense, but our defense has been playing trash the whole year. So I think our defense ain't going to be able to stop them. I think Christian McCaffrey, I think we have too much weapons offensively to, to be able to be contained, especially with Curtis Samuel coming in as a reserve role. And then especially with the trickeration that we do in the rounds, reverses, all kinds of cool stuff, I think we'll definitely be able to put up points. Um, I think it'll come down to the wire. I think Russell Wilson is a good quarterback. But like I said, I think, you know, I think we're going to have the ball at the end of the game, and um, Cam's going to get it done. Uh, like Obviously, last game, Cam had the ball at the end of the game. He scored a touchdown, but he couldn't convert the two-point conversion. But Cam, you know, he's one to learn from his mistakes, and um, I think he's going to come out mad, man. I think he's going to come out mad. I think he's going to come out focused and energized, and, and, and I think the team in general is going to hopefully bounce back and think, hey, man, we can't keep on letting, you know, keep on sliding in this, this losing streak because we lost the last two games. So... For me, I think Carolina's going to win 35-28. I think Russ Wilson's going to have a good day, whatever. I think Dante Jackson might get a pick, you know what I'm saying, on Tyler Lockett. 
um, you know what I'm saying, and uh, that might be what seals it for us, whatever. But uh, it's going to be a tough one, man. Like I said, Pete Carroll's a very good coach. Russell Wilson's a very good quarterback. And um, <clears throat> we've been playing bad recently, man. So we really need the Carolina Panther fans to come out in full effect and, you know, stand up, man. Because we, hopefully, man, we play better because we've been playing like trash. Now, mind you, both of those games were on the road. But the Detroit game, we should have won. And, you know what I'm saying, the Redskins game, we should have won. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so... It's like little mishaps that's that's killing us, whatever. You know, obviously the, the Detroit game was field goals. Wrestling game was, you know what I'm saying, fumbles. So we got to get it together. We got to play, you know, focused, energized, and, and mad. And um, hopefully they take this seriously, man, because I'm, I'm basically giving up on the defense. I don't think the defense is going to be right all season. I'm hoping the offense can carry them because the defense doesn't seem like they're going to get it together. Well, that's it for me, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share with your cool things like Facebook and Reddit and Instagram and wherever else. And, guys, get in the comment section, man. Who you think the better head coaches is, Ron Rivera or Pete Carroll? Who would you give the nod to? Um, you know, what do you think the final score is going to be? Put that also in the comment section also. And um, how do you feel about our offense and defense? Which one do you think is better, worse? Let me, let me know what, uh, you know in the comment section because our defense, like I said, I kind of gave up on them, man. They're, they're, they're not getting it together, in my opinion. So, We'll see what happens, man. Don't forget to cop some apparel, El Camera TV apparel, shirts, hats, mugs, all types of cool stuff. Link is in the description below. Definitely, you know what I'm saying, show love to the apparel page. If you cop some apparel, take some pictures of it, whatever, you know what I'm saying. Tag me on Instagram at, at El Camera 25. You know what I'm saying, cop some merchandise. Y'all already know what it is. Support the channel, support me. Y'all already know what it is, man. Check out the Patreon page. That link is in the description below. Support the Patreon page. You know what I'm saying, exclusive content, shout outs. You know what I'm saying? Uh, blue, blue Reels, all kinds of cool stuff. That's all on the Patreon page. So definitely show us the Patreon page. You yeah, already know what it is. Um, check out my dog Renan Steen's video. His video is going to be at the very end of mine. the end screen. Very funny dude. Very talented dude. Um, you know what I'm saying? If y'all watch my Thanksgiving video, he was in that, whatever. And he does a lot of, you know, skit videos and funny stuff, whatever. So check him out. Keep that trigger effect going. Very funny dude. Very talented. I think you guys really like his stuff. And we'll be doing more collaborations um, in the future. So just be on the lookout for that. Um, share with all your Panther family, friends, anybody Panther related, anybody football related, anybody Seahawk related, anybody anything related, share it with them. Let them know El Camera TV is rocking Panther Nation, Panther Nation rocking El Camera TV. Thank you all for always supporting me. Thank you all for always showing love, man. Thank you all for always getting in the comment section and showing love, man. And um, I'm trying my best to be more, you know, active on the comment section, replying and stuff like that, whatever. Because, you know what I'm saying, you my people, man. I like talking to y'all, whatever. Not only on the, the Super Chats, which will be live. So if y'all aren't on the Super Chat, definitely tune in the Super Chat. But just in general, man, and um, I also like to hear what you guys think about my content, like my other content, skit videos, poetry, all kinds of other cool stuff I do on my channel. So if you show love, you know what I'm saying, if you, you know, like my other stuff, man, let me know about it. I might do more of that, you know what I'm saying. Um, I got some reviews as far as my Thanksgiving video. It sounded like people liked it, whatever, thought it was funny. So definitely show love, man. Thank y'all for always tuning in and showing love and support, man. And I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.